every year the FIH hosts the Hockey Star Awards which was created to honor and award the greatest players and coaches of that specific year. But for the season of 2020-21 something strange happened and as you can see every winner in each category is from India despite countries like the Netherlands dominating women's hockey and Belgium dominating men's hockey with multiple nominees not one making the cut for the final awards. So in this video I'm going to take a look at the backlash the FIH received, their statement on how the voting process worked and then finally give you my opinion on who I think should have won the awards based on their performances and statistics of the 2020-21 season. Before I start this video, I just want to say that in no way I'm trying to put hate on the Indian players as they had a phenomenal year and it's rather the fault of the FIH and the voting system they implemented that needs to be changed. Firstly, I'll be taking a look at the backlash that was received shortly after the results were announced on Wednesday morning, 6 October. This includes comments from players such as Jorrit Kroon, Robert Kemperman, Victor Wenyei, Christopher Rur, Kieran Gavis, Gonzalo Payat. There were further comments from Mark Knowles and even Hockey Belgium and Belgium Red Lions. Most of the players thought it was a joke and couldn't take it seriously and had no idea how a result like this could even be possible. After receiving the major backlash from not only the wider hockey community but from some of the greatest hockey players being it past or current, the FIH released a statement about the voting process which said the FIH would like to recall some important principles of the FIH Hockey Stars Awards voting process which has been clearly communicated before the vote. The voting process has been designed to give major hockey stakeholders, teams, players, coaches, fans and media the opportunity to cast a vote for the most important year awards in global hockey. In order to ensure the technical legitimacy of the vote, FIH has required that the national association's votes are made by the national team's coaches and captains. A higher weight has been allocated to the national association's voting group Votes from the national captains and coaches counted for 50% of the overall results while fans and players 25% as well as media 25% made the other half of the votes. As one can see, all winning athletes have topped the standings in each of the three voting groups, national associations, fans and players and media. In other words, even if one or two of these voting groups would have not been involved, the winning athletes would have been the same. As always, FIH will conduct a review of the FIH Hockey Stars Awards and make adjustments wherever deemed necessary. In particular, we will focus on establishing why a number of national associations failed to vote. For the purpose of this video, I'm not going to go into the workings of the voting process as it is ultimately flawed and needs to be changed to ensure the legitimacy of the Hockey Stars Awards going forward. For the final part of this video, I'm going to compare the winners in each category to the players I personally felt deserved to win the award based on their performances in the 2020-21 season. First up, I'm going to be starting with the coaches of the year and the male coach of the year, Graeme Reed. Now in this category, I can't say I'm too disappointed as Graeme Reed did help India to their first Olympic medal in 41 years. But on the other hand, Shane McLeod's Belgium team did win the FIH Pro League and the Olympic gold. So I think it's fair to say that Shane McLeod deserves this just as much as Graeme Reed. For the female team coach of the year, we have Shurt Marainas, whose Indian team was brilliant at the Olympics and showed that he is a brilliant coach. Also on the nomination for female team coach of the year was Alison Annan, and her Netherlands side was very dominant and won pretty much everything there was to win in the season so she also is a fair shout for the coach of the year. The next category is female rising star of the year and in this category I have to be honest I haven't seen much of any of them or heard much about them and the winner was Sharmila Devi and I can't really have an opinion on this as I don't know any of them but I have heard a bit more of Valentina Raposo at the Olympic Games but I don't have much of an opinion on this category. For the male Rising Star of the Year award, the winner was Vivek Prasad, who was also the winner of the Rising Star award in 2019. A worthy winner of this award for me personally is Mustafa Kasim. As you can see on screen, I put their appearances and goals scored in 2020-21 up on the screen. Vivek Prasad played 16 games, which includes 
games in the FIH Pro League and Olympics and scoring only two goals while he is a midfielder, while Mustafa Kasim played five games at the Olympics and scored three goals. Mustafa Kasim also scored some brilliant goals at the Olympics and had the hockey world on their toes. He's definitely one to watch for the future and he's still a rising star whether he won the award or not. The next category is Female Goalkeeper of the Year and Savita won the award. Now to be honest, I didn't know who Savita was before she won the award or got nominated. But another worthy opponent that I think deserves to win this award as well is Maddie Inch. As you can see on screen, I put both players' statistics for the 2020-21 season on the screen and both players had about the same clean sheets per game, but Maddie Inch did concede a lot less goals per game. For this reason, purely based on performance, Maddie Inch is my personal winner for this award. The next category is Male Goalkeeper of the Year, where the winner of this award was PR3Js. The other player nominated that I think is also worthy of this award is Vincent Van Asch. And as you can see on screen, their statistics and performances for the 2020-21 season is very similar and very comparable. Both players also had their heroics and massive pass to play at the Olympic Games, but Vincent Van Asch did win gold and the FIH Pro League while Shidres only won bronze. So for this category, it's 50-50 and could go either way. The next category is Female Player of the Year which was won by Gurdjit Kahur. Now this section is, for me, the section of the most injustice, as I feel like Frederik Matla was a clear, clear winner for this award. I have massive respect for Gurdjit Kahur and her performance at the Olympic Games. But as you can see on screen, the performances between Gurdjit and Frederik, you can see that it's not really comparable and Frederik Matla had one amazing year as she won four of the biggest trophies there is to win in hockey, as well as the worth class with Den Bosch. I don't know what Matla could have possibly done more to win this award, so for me, she is the clear winner, in my opinion, for the Female Player of the Year of 2020-21. The final category is Male Player of the Year, which was won by Harman Preet Singh, and as the same with the Female Player of the Year, I feel a massive injustice towards Alexander Hendricks. Now, don't get me wrong, Harman Preet Singh is an amazing player and a brilliant captain and leader. But once again, I don't think his performances and statistics quite stack up to Alexander Hendricks. Harman Preet did captain India to their first Olympic medal in 41 years. However, Hendricks was top goalscorer at the Olympics and won the Olympic gold while also winning the FIH Pro League and was just in a league of his own and unstoppable. For this reason, purely based on performance and statistics, Alexander Hendricks is my personal pick for Male Player of the Year for 2020-2021. Once again, I would like to add that these are my personal opinions and in no way, shape or form, I want to aim any hate at any Indian players as they had a brilliant year and I would like to ask the viewers not to aim any hate at the Indian players but rather at the system FIH employed for this award. If you made it this far in the video, I'd like to thank you for watching and would encourage you to leave a comment down below on who you think should have won each category and the system FIH should employ further for these awards to make it more legitimate. And if you want to see more awesome field hockey videos like these or more, remember to subscribe and stay up to date to see new videos coming soon.